Mr. President, I rise today to pay tribute to Terry Redlin, a citizen of South Dakota who rose to fame in the 1970s as an artist known for his vivid and vibrant outdoor paintings. On Sunday, April 24th, Terry passed away at the age of 78 in Watertown, where he was born and raised. Our entire state was deeply saddened to hear of his passing. Terry spent his life promoting South Dakota, and he shared his appreciation for our great state with the entire world through his paintings. He will be missed deeply not only by his family and loved ones, but by all who admired his work throughout his very distinguished career. Growing up, Terry liked to draw. He didn't think he would become an artist, though. As an avid outdoorsman, he wanted to be a forest ranger so that there would be plenty of opportunities to hunt and fish when he wasn't working. Then tragically, at the age of 15, his life was changed forever. He was badly hurt in a motorcycle accident and his leg had to be amputated. Becoming a forest ranger was now impossible for Terry. But Terry didn't let that stop him from pursuing greatness. After graduating high school, Terry received a disability scholarship to help further his education. Using it, he earned a degree from the St. Paul School of Associated Arts and spent 25 successful years working in commercial art as a layout artist, graphic designer, illustrator, and art director. In his spare time, he enjoyed photography, particularly of the outdoors and wildlife. Then, he started painting from his photographs and from his memories. In 1977, at the age of 40, Redland's painting, Winter Snows, appeared on the cover of The Farmer magazine. He quickly rose to prominence as an exceptional artist and started painting full time. From 1990 to 1998, each year's poll of National Art Galleries by US Art Magazine selected Terry Redlin as America's most popular artist. Over the years, many people have tried to describe the effect of Terry's paintings and what it had on them. People connect with his paintings. They inspire us to remember personal memories of past times, places, and experiences. Your heart is tugged when you look at them. There is a peacefulness and a warmth. Terry used to call it romantic realism, but mere words simply can't describe it. As you can see from this Redland painting beside me, entitled America, America, which I brought with me from my front office where it normally hangs, the beauty of his paintings are truly indescribable. His son convinced him to stop selling his original paintings and just sell prints. Someday, he said, they would build a beautiful art gallery to display all of the originals. And they did. It could have been built in the Twin Cities where he lived for a time or another large metropolitan area because Terry's paintings are loved everywhere. Terry chose his hometown of Watertown, South Dakota for the construction of the Redland Arts Center. It was a gift to his home state and hometown for that $1,500 scholarship he was given all those years ago, which created a wonderful life for him and his family. Three million visitors came to the Redland Arts Center in the first three years and many more millions since then. Terry would sometimes walk into the galleries unannounced and visit with guests who would then ask the front desk, who's that nice guy? When told it was Terry, they were shocked and delighted. Once, Terry was seen driving slowly through the parking lot. When asked what he was doing, he said he was looking at all the different license plates and what they were doing there. He said he was amazed that people would travel so far just to see his paintings. Terry was also generous to the subjects of many of his creations. His paintings and prints have been used by various wildlife and conservation groups to raise more than $40 million to benefit their causes. For those of us who were blessed with the opportunity to meet and know Terry Redlin, we always came away feeling like, like he was our friend, so wonderful, so kind, and so humble. 
For those who know him through his paintings, his spirit shone brightly in all of his work. As we mourn his death and pray for his loved ones during this difficult time, may we find comfort knowing that the legacy which he leaves behind through his paintings will be enjoyed and appreciated for generations to come. He was a great painter, but an even greater human being. Terry once said he wanted to paint forever, that he had to paint. Terry said it was like breathing to him. Unfortunately, illness forced him into retirement in 2007. And on Sunday, April 24, 2016, the Lord brought Terry up to heaven. Now, now he can breathe again. Thank you, Mr. President. I yield the floor. <laughs>